Welcome to Palm Springs, the home of the Vortex Great Room. Hi, my name is Brian Foster. I am the designer and developer of this property. This unique modern estate is located in Palm Springs, California. It's approximately 5,000 square feet. It has five bedrooms, five and a half baths, media room, and a study, and a view unlike anything you've ever seen. The minute you pull up, you immediately notice the house is incredibly futuristic. As soon as you walk in, it takes you into a whole nother world. The great room here was designed to be open concept, but in reality, it's beyond open concept from a standpoint of the relationship between the indoors and the outdoors. But more importantly, the great room has a kitchen, the water feature, dining room, fire feature, and amazing 60 foot wide sliding glass pocket doors. Over here is the kitchen, which has got this incredible amount of cabinetry, great appliances to give the experience of having a chef's kitchen. Over here we have this amazing island, which is about as big as a Mack truck. The length is approximately 15 feet. The shape of this island is unlike others you may see that are just rectangular. Of course, we've done this one with this long sweeping curve. And I wanted to make the island be special and keep the materials really clean and simple. So we used a combination of white quartz and gray quartz, one seam running right down through the center. Immediately when anybody comes in this house, they immediately congregate to the island and this is where the party starts. I wanted to make sure that the experience continued for every element of the home because we have these incredible views looking this way. So this sofa was designed with a serpentine shape and if you sit here, for example, you'd be looking straight out to the pool and out to the incredible view. One thing you may notice is that the home is designed with curves and strong bold lines and these are called curvilinear and if you pay attention to all of the elements of this home you'll see that those lines all play a role with one another to achieve something that is attractive to the eye. The decision was to put these swivel coffee tables in. These pieces move which can allow you to put your books or remote or whatever you may want to put here and they can also be closed to just show it as one round table with three layers. My favorite part of the house is this dining room. And one thing that I like to include in my designs are a round dining room with water and fire. And the reason for this is to create a energy vortex. And what happens with an energy vortex like this with the water rotating in a counterclockwise motion, this brings health, happiness, and wealth to those that live within the home. Right now, I can feel the energy spinning right above my head. The minute this was, we finished this space, I immediately said, wow. The reason why is because it was a difficult task to accomplish all of these elements being coordinated together and equally so to come up with a massive lighting fixture like this, which is combined of a cluster of these amazing looking light fixtures. Not only does the water feature look amazing, it also collects all the dust that comes into a house. And while the filtration system is running, it cleans the, it cleans the dust from the water and the house, which makes it to where you have to clean your house less. Since this is not a pool and just a water feature, it's self-cleaning and it only takes a little bit of chlorine, but most importantly, with no sun hitting it and it's indoors, it can stay relatively clean year round with almost no maintenance. If you notice from the front door in, that's the first thing that attracts your eye with this big long sweeping curve. And then on the back side in here, we have this circle. And then we roll this circle right over here into this fire feature with fire coming out of the floor with this nice, simple, clean line. What's the point in having a regular fireplace when you can have something like this? I wanted to make a fireplace that was completely unusual. And the decision was to have the fire come up out of the floor, which relates to the water. And we built this massive sized hood that captures all the heat and vents it straight up through the roof of the house. Wanted to make it very unique, also being very futuristic, 
and I think I accomplished that. Although this space is beyond unique, wait till you see this. Immediately when you walk in the front door, you see the full span of the view outside. And these doors open one by one, slide all the way back into the walls. They disappear completely, so you see absolutely no windows. One of the most difficult things about this entire project was coming up with a way to have near 60 foot span of pocket sliding doors. Part of the design was to have these massive overhangs which are cantilevered to the limit of engineering standards. Although it was a bit of a challenge, we accomplished it and got it exactly the way we wanted it. You'll never see that on another house anywhere. The desert living is all about creating two spaces that actually relate as one, so the indoor-outdoor experience is unlike anything else. For example, here we have this outdoor kitchen, which is fully equipped to completely have a similar experience as you would in the main kitchen of the house. For example, it has dual refrigerators, a full sink with drawers, and we have this auxiliary cooktop plus a barbecue along with an island here for dining at the front of the island as well as having a dining table just off this area. For most people, they consider a fire pit or fire feature a round circle or a square. Here, we pushed the envelope and had it jet out into the pool along with this straight line curving off to create an effect that is unique. The fire feature here is not only for effect, but if you're in the pool on the tanning shelf at night, you can simply sit by it and keep yourself warm if it's on a cold night. And the design was specific to keep in the flow of water and fire from the indoors to the outdoors. I think it's one of the most interesting parts of the indoor-outdoor experience. And it turned out exactly the way I designed it. The pool is designed to be one body of water, but it's a little bit misleading to some extent. The break from the fire feature, that takes you to the deep end. You have the shallow end here and it has a nice large tanning shelf where the water is only about eight inches in depth. You can put a lounge chair there or you can frolic around in that area. And then as you step over into this area, this is where the spa is with the jets. It's all integrated as one pool, meaning you have the shallow end, the deep end, tanning shelf and the spa all in one. These chairs here are for sunbathing, which capture most of the sun. You can also jump in the pool, jump in the spa, go on the tanning shelf, endless opportunities. You come over here, we have another outdoor fire feature. This one is more along the lines of a conventional fire pit, which is raised, straight linear line of fire with a curved shape. It was a bit challenging to design this because we have the slope going downhill. We wanted to keep the desert vibe going. So we made the fire pit straddle the concrete deck and sit within the rock area to make it have a unique feel. With all of the obstacles and challenges we faced and out of the box thinking, it was one of the most rewarding things to create such an amazing, incredible, unique, modern space.